all that on the, these things are pretty big actually you know uh i don't know how wide they are but it's a little wider than the pickup bed and it's i don't know how many feet long i have to measure it with my feet one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay so it's, the inside's ten feet one two three four five six so ten by six and your standard uh Pick up bed is like eight by I don't know, like five and a half, something like that. Let's see, not the body of the truck, the body is like six foot something. But one, two, three, four, five. Oh, wow. Try this again. One, two, three, four, five, five and a half feet. So <clears throat> the inside's almost as wide as uh, the camper, but the camper's got a couple extra feet, so it's like having the tailgate down all the time. So that's what this is. This is a pickup bed with the tailgate down. Right here. This is a Chevy pickup truck right here with the tailgate down. Oh, could be worse, I guess, right? Or right, pretty much the The size of that box truck, because that's 10 feet, or is that a 12 foot? I can't remember. Oh, that's 12 foot, I think. 12 foot. Is that a 12 or a 10? Maybe it's a 10 foot. Each panel, each riveted panel is what, 3 feet? So, yeah. I mean, the box itself, not the usable space, is 10 feet, but the inside usable space is like, eh, nine, maybe eight and a half feet. So, basically, that's a, for all practical purposes, it's pretty much a pickup truck with the tailgate down, just like the camper. Except the camper would need higher sides, and obviously, look at those little itty bitty wheels. They can't carry what that can. I, w I mean, I wouldn't try it. Especially with the tire rating. Well, those are old. Those are old tires. God knows how old they really are. Yeah, with well, this, this rating that's on here. I don't know, well I took that roof off and that roof, that's a considerable amount of weight, that's uh, God, got to be a good 300 pounds easily, plus those bed things, yeah that's easily 300 pounds, of course if I built up the sides I'd be adding some of that lost weight. But this thing isn't just, uh, I don't know, not just plywood, it's some kind of reinforced something or another. Look at that wash dust thing. That's not cool. <clears throat> so that's what I'm getting myself into. Oh, well, it says he's emptying out that truck, 
and then it starts to fill stuff back into it. Yep, that's what happens here. A lot of backtracking. The sun just being straight up and down, you know, so warm. Better than the freezing cold, but still. Woo! Keep this with the other tool. Saw blade right there. Just using that to... yesterday to. Cut a bunch of stuff. Stainless steel is like tough. It's weird. And it's also not something you should handle without gloves. This is all from a Polish delicatessen. <clears throat> I don't even know what this thing is. Vertical drill stand. All stuff I never use. <laughs> so what the heck do you do with this? Maybe it's missing another piece over here or something. Hmm. Interesting. Probably something I could have used at one time if I knew how to use it, whatever it is. <laughs> I know. I, prof I profess ignorance about quite a bit of stuff. I may have needed to use something like that many times, but hey, man. <sighs> right? It's one of them things. Look at this front loader. These things don't last. The, the barrel is what? Uh, horizontal? So the load is on the bearing too much and uh, they burn up. So I'm just dreaming here, bringing you guys along with, <clears throat> seeing what could be done. Obviously, if this load was packed in a lot better, you'd get much more use out of the space, which is what should be done, really. But I'm, I'm just putting it in here, knowing that I'm probably going to take it out anyway, because I don't have a license for this thing yet. So, and I would like to build the sides up. So, I put it in there knowing that I'm probably going to end up taking it out. And I got other fish to fry. Yeah, empty that out. And I would like to move this from there over there, I think. Hmm, by hand, I suppose. I don't know. I do a lot of thinking. I do a lot of thinking and yapping and uh, not enough doing sometimes. Because <clears throat> it's almost like you get afraid to 
make the wrong move. You end up paralyzing yourself. Let's create a tool out of this. So I don't have to bend over and grab that toolbox. Made a hook out of this thing here. Disposable. An impromptu work table or workbench. This thing is <laughs> really seen better days. They don't last. Not the way I treat stuff. <clears throat> I'm heavy handed. Very heavy handed. It's just, uh, just the way it is, you know? Oh, by the way, this. This stuff's not aluminum, it's, it's steel. The people are like, oh, that's aluminum. I'm like, yeah, okay. I didn't say that to them, I'm just, oh, yeah, thank you. Oh, you should get some good money for that. Sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I will, yeah. Actually, uh, bringing you along to come and look for a rake. I found an aluminum uh, barbecue hood. Hit myself <laughs> trying to concentrate on what I'm doing here. <sighs> Sometimes when I get so overwhelmed at this place, I am just leaving. <laughs> Run from your problems. Yep, kind of like that. You know, when your problems get to be too big. What the hell is this? Where did this go from? I don't remember seeing that. Oh, that bed. Somebody must have dropped a couple of things off. Well, there's plenty here to keep uh, the boy entertained, I guess, huh? A little bit of copper, not a lot. Not enough to make a difference. Okay, wait a minute, I had two lights here. What did Dominic do with the other one? I asked him to keep them both together. Oh. 
He never took the other one out. Okay. Well, you know what I'm looking for? I'm looking for a rake. Oh, you should keep all your stuff together. <laughs> well, I do, kinda, but I don't. So, I mean, there's a steel rake right here. But this isn't the, it's not the kind I'm looking for. I'm looking for the kind that, the kind that's flimsy. There's those kind of rakes. Oh. Those kind of rakes, uh, those hard steel ones, they dig into the ground. And this right here, they kind of go over the ground like that. And uh, these are more suited for uh, cleaning uh, semi packed gravel. He's still in the zone. Pretty much, uh... Hey, help me! Uh oh. Not happening. You know, all kinds of garbage, like... Old napkins, or whatever that is. Torn up piece of the cardboard. That old McDonald's bag. And this rakes it all. Little bits of plastic and stuff. So if I rake this entire area like that, maybe I can move the camper over here something pack that with more garbage and we'll see you in the next video